Hi, I'm Marlo Lewis with the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Today we're going to hear from Dr. Jim O'Brien, the Florida State Climatologist and Professor Emeritus of Florida State University. Dr. O'Brien is also Director of the Center for Ocean Atmospheric Prediction Studies. You're watching Skeptics Speak Out. Uh, right now, um We've had a couple years in 2004, 2005, in which the United States, particularly my state of Florida, has experienced lots of hurricanes, uh, and we had all these dire predictions. Um, even that famous climatologist, the Prime Minister of England, Tony Blair, came out with the statement that it was all due to global warming. Currently, uh, the scientific community who study hurricanes on a daily basis uh, recognize that, unfortunately, our data uh, earlier than 1970 is poor because we didn't have satellites. Uh, it's very clear uh, both in the Atlantic and in the Pacific that uh, there's no trend in hurricanes. Uh, the number of hurricanes are within plus or minus five percent. Unfortunately, uh, the news media uh, only reports one side of the, the question in many, many areas. Uh, on hurricanes, for example, uh, when Wilma uh, came into the Gulf of Mexico on its way to Mexico. It was reported in the press that the it was the strongest central pressure, lowest central pressure, meaning the strongest storm that they'd ever measured in the Atlantic. The, the news media forgot to tell you, though, that if it had happened five years earlier, they wouldn't have measured it because it was new technology. New satellites are going up, uh, new um, ways to uh, look at the de deficiencies in our, mo in our computer models, take advantage of the technology. That's very, very good. Unfortunately, there's another part of the climate science, which are the people in the ecosystem side, and which don't know about the physical side, and they tend to blame everything on, uh, on global climate change uh, without using the scientific method. Unfortunately, when Mr. Gore was vice president, he, he was convinced by scientists that we knew everything, which obviously we didn't because we've learned a lot since then, and that we should just worry about mitigation and adaptation. But I think that there's still a lot to be learned. 